Hi guys, welcome back to another new movie reaction. It is whew, The Silence of the Lambs. Um, another one that I guess was in my list to watch, but because uh, fast approaching October, the Halloween season, I thought why not give it a try and watch it and just prepare myself for a lot of other things that I really want to watch horror wise. But um, I just thought why not just start with a I guess a classic but this is the first horror movie of the year and uh i am i guess i am excited and uh i know it's gonna be anthony hopkins and jodie foster um this is something i don't know if my dad has watched himself but i assume he must have in his own time but i've not watched it with him uh naturally so i am excited for that reason to dive right into a new classic so if you're new to the channel welcome thank you so much for joining Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and let me know down in the comments what I should watch next, what horror movie I should watch next. I'm definitely um, going to keep a good solid recommendation in my head to squeeze around to really set the vibe for the season and period that, you know, all of us are entering, which is, you know, Halloween and horror thing and all that. So let me know down in the comments about that so i am happy to dive right into this i have not read what the story is all about so going in blind but um at the end of the movie i am expecting myself to be a little spooked i guess it should live up to the name of being uh, of of it being a horror movie so let's dive right into see what this movie is all about and uh yeah it is the 1991 movie the silence of the lamps after a great start we're starting in an ominous um forest is that a child that is not a child that is a grown-up woman crawford wants to see you in his office Thank you, sir. Wow, okay, I didn't realize she was training. Jeez. Is Jodie Foster that short? I thought she was always like a tall woman. Bill Skins fifth. Skins? Yo. Set the vibe. Ho! Oh. Babe. Oh, we've got a Ramsey Bolton situation. On the Bureau of Civil Rights record in the Hoover years. Gave you an A. A minus, sir. Ha! <laughs> Who's the subject? The psychiatrist, Hannibal Lecter. Oh, my God. Yes, but he's much too sophisticated for the standard tests. <laughs> oh, my. I love the 90s outfits and hairstyles. And, oh. He attempts to pass you anything, do not accept it. Do you understand me? Yes, I understand, sir. Why do I feel this is going to be a rough ending? When the nurse leaned over him, he did this to her. What did he do? His pulse never got above 85, even when he ate her tongue. Oh! Can you? Fine. Great stuff. May I see your credentials? Certainly. Closer, please. No. Closer. No. Oh, he's evaluating her. Most serial killers keep some sort of trophies from their victims. I didn't. No. No, you ate yours. So she's well aware. Mm. Hannibal Lecter might be studying her, but I'm studying Hannibal Lecter. I could never survive that. <laughs> There's no paper clips, staples, any sort of shiny stuff on it. Okay. Oh, Agent Starling, you think you can dissect me with this blunt little tool? No. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Tell me you put some Tabasco in it. Mmm, delicious. You fly back to school now, little Starling. 
<laughs> nice one. I bit my wrist so I could die. Look at the blood! Oh, flip! Get started! Go seek out Miss Moffat, an old patient of mine. M O F E T. Go Doctor. now. I don't think Mix could manage again quite so soon, even though he is crazy. Go now. I low-key do not expect that to be the the outcome of that. Daddy. Hey, Clarice. Oh, what? Oh, we travel back in time. Jeez. Get any bad guys today, Daddy? No, Angel. Oh, she wanted to be like the F in the FBI, like her dad. I feel like, yeah, this one encounter will, I feel, toughen her up real good. Starling? Sir? Miggs is dead. What? The orderly heard Lecter whispering to him all afternoon and Miggs crying. They found him at bed check. He'd swallowed his own tongue. What the heck? Jeez. The contract. This is the name of a Miss Hester Moffat. Nice. Good find. If this door should fall down or... <laughs> Anything else? Uh, this is the number for our Baltimore field office. Now they know that you're with me. You call them if anything should happen. Yes, Miss. Can you please get in? This freaks me out more than Hannibal Lecter. Get in, babe. <laughs> babe. Oh my God. Is that real? It's an anagram, isn't it, Doctor? Hester Moffat. The rest of me, miss the rest of me, meaning that you rented that garage? Your bleeding is that. He can smell that. You think Jack Crawford wants you sexually? True, he is much older, but do you think he visualizes scenarios, exchanges? Isn't that what all men think? No offense. I'm offering you a psychological profile of Buffalo Bill based on the case evidence. I'll help you catch him, Cap. No thanks, we'll do our own research. Our little Billy must already be searching for that next special lady. No! Walk on! <laughs> Can I help you with that? Would you? Sure. Thank you. That's all right. You look kind of handicapped. Yeah, get in a truck and I want to push it all the way up. I would, I mean, why would you ever? Hand is working just fine, isn't it? Saddle up, pack your field gear. You're moving out, you're going with Prof. Where? Found a girl's body down in West Virginia. Been in the water about a week. Looks like a Buffalo Bill type situation. Oh, God. It was prior to death. All the mutilation you see there is post mortem. Okay, three. Oh, what? You haven't mention anything about the information contained in my report or Dr. Lecter's offer. Sir. Considering it. Okay. That's why you sent me in there, isn't it? To get his help on Buffalo Bill, sir? Ah! Where is he? Oh, what the? Oh, God. I didn't think that was your dad. Right. What's that fix? What's that? Oh, for the smell. Doctor Lamar, let's take a look at her. I thought it was Vix. <laughs> I was about to say it. <laughs> You've not fully applied it. <laughs> he doesn't have it. Oh, God. Okay, Starling. Jeez. Star-shaped contact entrance wound over the uh, sternum. Uh, muzzle stamp at the top. Wrongful death. Wrongful death. What else do you see, Starling? Well, he's not local. Her ears are pierced three times, and there's a uh, uh, glitter nail polish. It looks like town to me. Oh. Two of her fingernails are broken off, and there's there's dirt or grit under them. It looks like she's tried to claw her way through something. She's got something in her throat. 
What? When a body comes out of the water, lots of times there's like leaves and things in the mouth. How could she tell from the camera? What is that? No, sir. That's a bug cocoon. There's no way that could get way down in there like that. Unless somebody shoved it in there. Oh. Where the heck did this come from? It's practically mush. It was found behind the soft pallet of a murder victim. The body was in the Elk River in West Virginia. It's Buffalo Bill, isn't it? Yeah. Agent Starling, meet Mr. Acarantia Styx, better known to his friends as the Death's Head Moth. Now, where does it come from? That's what's strange. I only live in Asia. Oh. They'd have to be specially raised from imported eggs. Now somebody grew this guy. Fed him honey and nightshade. Kept him warm. Yo! Somebody loved him. Buffalo Bill Boy. Oh my god, that's where he keeps his victims. Look at that! that the missing girl's blouse has been identified sliced up the back and what right. is a kind of grim all too familiar calling card young Catherine martin my mistake i thought she died i thought she was the victim that we were checking out he sees Catherine as a person and not just an object it's harder to tear her up please release my little girl doing this really? is that a thing what is your worst memory of childhood please don't Surprise two burglars coming out of the back of a drugstore. They shot him. Was he killed outright? No, he was very strong. He lasted more than a month. Jeez, dude. She had an object deliberately inserted into her throat. Now, that hasn't been made public yet. We don't know what it means. Was it a butterfly? Whoa. A moth. Just like the one we found in Benjamin Raspail's head an hour ago. What? Why does he place them there, Doctor? The significance of the moth has changed. Caterpillar into chrysalis or pupa. From thence into its youth. Okay. Our belly wants to change too. There's no correlation in the literature between transsexualism and violence. Transsexuals are very passive. Clever girl. So close to the way you're going to catch him. Do you realize that? No. Tell me why. After your father's murder, you were orphaned. What happened next? Foster care is you. Did the rancher make you perform fellatio? Did he sodomize you? Oh, God. No. He was a very decent man. Quid pro quo, doctor. Hi! Our belly <laughs> wasn't born a criminal, Clarice. He was made one through years of systematic abuse. Billy hates his own identity, you see. Ooh. Now it places the lotion in the basket. Now it places the lotion in the basket. Oh, look at all the blood masks. Blood mask, what is that? I don't even know what that was. They scammed you, Hannibal. Dude, you're gonna be... You're gonna undo everything. Oh, God. There Pen. never was a deal with Senator Martin, but there is now. I deserve... The stupid idiot. And I have a few conditions of my own. Clean him up and get him ready to go. Did you take the pen? Did you have a trainee make some sort of phony offer to Lecter in the senator's name? Yeah, I rolled the dice I had to. Well, she's mad as hell, Jack. Paul Krendler's over here from Justice. She's asking him to take over in Memphis. Who? Oh! That's an insane amount of precautions for an insane idiot. <gasps> here, sir, use mine. Oh my god! And he found the perfect moment. The stupid idiot. Five for ten, strongly built, about 180 pounds. Hair blonde, eyes pale blue. He'd be about 35 now. He said he lived in Philadelphia, but may have lied. That's all I can remember, Mark. 
Oh my god. No. Oh, and Senator, just one more thing. Love your suit. Huh? This evening with Senator Ruth Martin, Dr. Lecter, you get to a that, that was a crazy encounter. Martin, Buffalo Bill. How do you get in, sir? Well, I was only through my own unique insight into Lecter's mind that this breakthrough was possible. And Buffalo Bill's real name? Buffalo Bill's real name is now a matter of record with the proper authorities. Can you give us My name is Dr. Frederick How Chilton. How do you spell That's that? C-H. Are you with Dr. Chilton's group? Uh, well, I just saw him outside, sir. Access to Lecter is strictly limited. We've been getting death threats. I understand, sir. Log in and check your weapon. Thanks. I can take all the credit for myself. Uh, Senator Martin, Justice Department, people at the FBI, the folks at the Baltimore State Hospital. And now for the hard part, apprehending the suspect. Excuse me, folks, I'm going to have to catch a flight. saying huh? some kind of vampire they don't have a name for it yet but... you do know the rules ma'am yes lieutenant boyle i've questioned him before yo what does he do this man you see devours his finds yeah to tell me, Clarice. Fantastic. Vacations to Sal. Why did you leave that ranch? I love how Anthony Hopkins is so good. I heard a strange noise. What was it? It was screaming. What? I was so scared to look inside, but I had to. What did you see, Clarice? What did you see? Yeah, what did you see, please? They were screaming. Oh, jeez. Tell me his name, Doctor. Doctor Chilton, I presume. I think you know each other. Okay. What? Your case file. Goodbye, Clarice. Goodbye, Doctor. Whoa. Touch, dude. This is good. Don't tell me she's like she's almost not well, wrong words, but she's infatuated with his mind and how deep it's going. Dinner lamb chops, extra rare. What he wants for breakfast, damn thing, zoo. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, okay. Hand me that one. Ah. Yo! He's gonna escape! Bon appetit. Lovely. I don't think he will eat lamb today, babes. I think he's gonna have some human. He's gonna cut out his tongue. Did somebody go up on five? No, nobody went up. Call Pambury, ask him to tell him. Oh, God. Two officers down. Clear. Two officers down? Two officers dead. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, God. But we're pretty sure he's somewhere on two, sir. That's all for now. Over. Trying to hide that, hmm? There's a gun by his hand. He's not moving. He didn't even 
react. Broken in the hatch. No way he did not react and he's gonna try and escape now. No, see, if you have this ladder shit, he's he's gonna pull you up, eat you, and then come down and eat all of you lot. Terrible idea. Terrible. Severe facial lacerations, weapon unknown. We've got grand mal seizure activity, but he's post-dictal now. Uh, the vital signs are good. Pressure is 130 over. Oh my God! Or we got him on lactated ringers running, and uh, and the uh, patient is on 10 liters of oxygen. They found the ambulance in a parking garage at Memphis. cut his face up no that is brilliant sorry that was amazing is that skin oh but i'm still can't get over the fact that he used that that other guy's face to mark his escape i don't know nothing new to tell you police been back here so many times already she left the interview okay she never come home oh god Starling, Starling, we know who he is and where he is. We're on our way right now. The subject's name is Jamie Gum, a.k.a. John Gray. Oh, she's using precious as bait. Oh, she's smart, this one. Oh, God. Come and get it, pretty girl. There, there, down there. Yo, look at her chain. Oh dear. Oh god. Has he ruined his own privates? Whoa, what the heck? Oh, She's god. in a lot of pain, mister. She needs a bed. Oh god, poor oh, precious. Oh my god. Is that your doorbell? Are you sure in the right house? We're going in. No, wait, wait, wait! Ah, yeah, see? Clear! Clear! Wrong home! What's the problem, officer? Well, I'm investigating the death of Frederica Bimmel. Where is um, Hannibal? Business records. Tax Butterfly. Records of employee. Well, nothing like that at all. Baby, don't look at the back. Very good, Mr. Moore. May I use your phone, please? Put your hands over your head and turn around. Spread your legs. Spread your legs. Put your hands in the back. Thumbs up. Freeze! Stupid. Always check the corners. Check your corners, Clarice. Precious. Yes. FBI, you're safe. I don't think so. I'm gonna get you out of there, but right now you listen to me. I've gotta leave this room. I'll be right back. No! Don't you leave me here, you fucking bitch! No! Don't you leave me here! This guy is fucking crazy! Please! I gotta get out of here! All right, entitled lady. Quiet. 
Oh god, is it the right phrase? I have no idea what's happening now. Catherine, you said that's reloaded, right? get a distinction with honors everything I love a friend who cherishes in your success oh my god I want <laughs> I'm hungry where are you Dr. Lecter I have no plans to call on you Clarice the world's more interesting with you in it so you take care now to extend me the same courtesy you know I can't make that promise I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Oh, I'm having an old friend for dinner. Where is he? Is he in that island, the Arnex Island? Some island, something. Where you can walk every day! <laughs> yes! <laughs> that was good! Ooh! Very nice! Spooked in a way where, you know, the crime is insane. But I really liked Anthony Hopkins' character. Definitely did. That was fabulous. That was fabulous. I really enjoyed it. I think it was, um... For some reason, I don't know why, I when it said horror, I thought there would be maybe like a spooky element to, well, I guess the jump scare. But I enjoyed the thrill of it. It was fabulous. And it, I think it really, the as I said, the, the connection between Clarice and Hannibal Lecter was fab. And... You know, at the start when they talk about like almost like a warning in advance for maybe for Clarice, but almost like a viewer warning as well that you're getting into some deep hot shit. Don't don't be alarmed. But at the same time, be alarmed. Like, don't take him seriously because he's going to be he's in any way he's going to try and manipulate his way out. And you can say one way or the other, they shared a connection in the end. And uh, that little finger touch. Yeah, I think, as I said, I think she was very, like, she was fascinated by his mind. And she was very, um, she was intrigued because I feel like he hit the right spots in her, her past. Like, she has, I, I, I assume she's not spoken about this to anyone and she's kept this to herself. And for someone else to share in that, I guess, or share or maybe understand what she's going through or what she goes through every day and gets her. I think that's what drew her to finding out more about him, which is why you could see when she was in, um, in Memphis in that room where he was in the cage, he was like, tell me, doctor, like, I really want to know. Because, like, for her to be in that position and at the same time acknowledge that you want to get the answer so that you don't wake up in the night, like, you know, you don't feel what you felt with that lamb. 
and all that like that was absolutely crazy like you can almost say that he has a soft heart yet a maniac mind like it's such a twist on both it's crazy like like a psychotic person through and through would not think of this like mix for example i think that's where it was such a great play into seeing what kind of prisoners were with him and then he stands out like you can see mix is psychotic crazy then you see the buffalo bill he has issues and he wants to change himself and become a woman and you know devours his his victims to and then puts the moth like bread in asia and you know all that his 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 mind and then you have hannibal lecter the guy who eats humans but at the same time can twist your mind hannibal lecter as a villain but a sadistic man going after children love that i loved it like i think that was you know what hannibal lecter feed on that enjoy <laughs> I hope it's a tasty one. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Let me know down in the comments what I should watch next. What thriller or horror movie I should watch next. Uh, definitely, as I said, I'm going to tap into the horror world. And it's going to be a great month of, you know, spooks and scares. So I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Have a great day. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye.